Hey everybody, welcome back to Battery Ready Inc. So I haven't even posted my meta tier list video yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and record this now because I'm already in anticipation for a lot of the backlash on it, particularly putting Imperial in S tier. I know some people are gonna probably disagree with it, but I think that's why they need to see this video to go along with that. Yes, we are winning on turn two. OK, uh, it does require some setup um, or some decent draws, I should say. Uh, is this going to happen like consistently? No, not at all. Um, I just want to show you that it the potential is there, though. This deck is so fast. This could happen literally at any point in the game, whether you're on turn two, turn five, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, if your opponent's at full security, you can literally have these crazy turns. In just out of nowhere and immediately just win your opponent uh, I don't think they can ever be properly ready for the fact that this deck can take their security from five to zero and swing for game all in one turn and that's like the important of this is that it is an OTK okay so that's the bigger point of this is that while yeah it takes at one turn to set up and then any turn after that you can just go off uh, that's the important part is any turn after this you can just go off and that's uh, where the real power is but I want to show you that it is possible on turn two. Don't forget our new memory market this month is Kokomon. So if you're playing some Cherubimon or you just really like Kokomon, definitely check this out. This is on our Etsy page. This is handmade out of clay by my wife, hand painted as well from the face there. Uh, link in the description below. Also there you can find all of our previous memory markers that we've had on the channel as well as some of our Battle Ready Ink merch. So if you're looking for to play Imperial or Armors, then uh, you might want to pick up one of those uh, Armor Digi Eggs. Okay, so we're gonna do this here in Tabletop Simulator as it's the easiest, cleanest way to show it. Um, and I'm also gonna simulate the uh, the opponent's side. So we'll go over here. This, in, this does involve them going first to uh, start your turn out. So we will go, uh, assume there's uh, some babies there. I forgot to put some out, but they'll Evo into the rookie. And then in this format, Evoing into a level four in raising area is pretty common for a two Evo cost. Now that we're out of the hybrid format, this is pretty normal. Now you could could still assume that they could possibly play a uh, some sort of um, a tamer or something like that to pass turn to you as long as they give you um, two memory or more you're, you're fine so then uh, so say they go into this to give you two memory to pass their turn so then at the start of your turn here you will draw for turn and go ahead and hatch. And what I found that uh, this Vmon here, this is the gain one memory Vmon. This is definitely your more ideal target. If you don't have this Vmon, then at some point in the combo uh, on turn two, you will need to draw into a, a hammer spark or some other way to get you a bonus two memory. Uh, what we'll do is pass turn with Davis here, which will start our next turn at three. Uh, you have to start your turn at three, and then at some point during the turn, uh, towards the middle of it, you'll need to be able to gain two more memory. That gaining two more memory is actually very important. Uh, so whether that be Hammer Spark or this Vmon to give you one, uh, or another method, I'll uh, we'll go ahead and show in a little bit. Um, but there's there's a few different ways. So here we'll go into the Vmon. We'll draw a card. Uh, we'll Evo into our uh, X Vmon here for two uh, two memory. Draw another card, and then we will pass turn by throwing out a Davis here. Okay, and uh, so both these cards are fairly important um, for the combo, so we'll go ahead and pick them up, one being a blue and one being a green. They can be whichever one you pick, because that's the best part about dual colors, and then we'll bottom deck the one that we will not need. Now, this, does, this combo does involve needing a few... Uh, pretty lucky draws or searches that sort of thing now you could play the new duo tamer uh, davis kin in place of this davis um, but it does require you to get even luckier on your draws on the following turn uh, rather than this davis just being able to search out two key pieces is pretty uh, pretty important now like mid game or something like that you know you can maybe get away with it by already having more of the pieces in hand but early game trying to do this on your second turn you really need to 
to uh, get those combo pieces as fast as possible. Um, but what I do like about the Duo Tamer is on the next turn, at one of the points, uh, we could use the Duo Tamer to unsuspend and get a, a whole nother attack off. So we're going to get several attacks off in this sequence. Um, but if we had the Duo Tamer, just remember we could get even a, a second one uh, or a, a whole additional attack. So we'll kick it back over to the opponent. Uh, say they promote up out of here. Um, for whatever reason, they're, say they attack. Now, this is not uh, a must. We can do the combo without this, um, but I want to just show it as an example. Say they hit into a blue memory boost. This, this delay gain two is another way that could facilitate you gaining an extra two memory. So if you don't have the uh, the Vmon here to gain you one, uh, or you don't have you know a hammer spark or two hammer sparks if you don't have the Vmon, you know whatever way to gain that additional two. Uh, this is just yet another example of how you could possibly get that extra two memory. And then say they'll just uh, play a couple cards here to uh, to pass their turn back to you. So whatever they choose to do. Um, not a big deal. They could even play out a blocker, and it's surprisingly you can still win. It does. Uh, it becomes a little closer, but you can still manage it. Now I'll go ahead and show you that uh, when we when we get to that point. So your turn. You'll draw for turn. Go ahead and promote up this XV mon. Now, if they had a blocker at this point, you wouldn't be able to attack. Um, but that's it's it's okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and attack here. Uh, we won't trigger the Upamon. We don't need to really worry about it. Well, I guess we can. We'll go ahead and do it. It's not uh, that big a deal. So do a security check here. We do have jamming. This is the uh, EX1 jamming v XV mon. So he will survive. That's very important. He is literally like one of the most important pieces of this whole combo is having that jamming underneath because at any point if any of your attacks uh, crash into something that kills it, it the whole uh, OTK ends so then next we play the new Stingmon here so uh, when you have a blue Digimon in play reduce the memory cost of, uh, to play this Digimon by one so it's a three cost so that right there puts us at zero and then uh, now we will go ahead and Jagras or DNA Digivolve into our uh, Pyildramon, our first Pyildramon and uh, so that's zero memory to uh, Jagras, by the way. Uh, if you're not familiar with these rules, you, you unsuspends at this point and, uh, and it can attack uh, again. So it's like a newly summoned Digimon without having summoning sickness. That's what's really powerful. Even though the, uh, the Stingmon that we played did have summoning sickness, it completely overwrites that. So we will draw for Evo, and then we will go ahead and swing at security again. His effect will allow him to unsuspend. Also, uh, when Digivolving this Digimon, uh, return one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less to the bottom of their owner's deck. So this would be applied here, so we can go ahead and bottom deck that. Uh, it's it's not uh, a must for the combo or anything like that, um, but it is there if they play a blocker. If they had played a blocker, that would be your out to the blocker right there instantly. So uh, we'll swing in, he'll unsuspend, security check. He does have jamming, so no matter what we hit into, we are okay. Also, we may need to make sure we draw Draw for our Stingmon when attacking. If you have a blue Digimon in play, trigger draw one. Since this counts as a blue and a green, uh, we will trigger that uh, on play as well. Um, and then also the new the Upamon. This is under a new Upamon, so we will gain an additional draw for that. Uh, see how crazy powerful this is? And then we will gain that one memory off of this Vmon. It unsuspends, so we will gain one memory for that. This is like the crazy combos you can do with this is just utterly insane um, so next we will go ahead and activate uh, hidden potential discovered this will uh, allow us to suspend a Digimon to reduce the Evo cost uh, by five so now we can go into this uh, Imperial here for a zero cost uh, memory and then the, the new Imperials effect will allow us to play a green and blue level four uh, at which point we will play the XVmon and the uh, the Stingmon. There we go. And we get to play those out. Now, yes, they both have Summoning Sickness or whatever you want to call it, so you can't um, attack with them, right? However, if we uh, Jogress again into a, another uh, Pyildramon here, uh, for zero cost, draw for Evo... I believe we drew for the Imperial. I might have missed it. Either way, we're fine. We, we have plenty of pieces in hand. Uh, we'll be okay. And so this one now no longer has Summoning Sickness. So once again, we can swing into Security here. Effect to Unsuspend. 
Uh, security check. We do have the, the jamming from the XVMON. And then now is when you need that extra way to gain memory. So either you could pop the memory boost if you if you need it. If you didn't have the uh, the the Vmon or a Hammer Spark um, in hand to gain you two memory, you could pop the memory boost to gain you uh, the memory. You know, there's multiple different ways, but either way, we're good. So now you can play Win Rate, which is basically a second hidden potential, um, but almost kind of uh, better, really. So we'll go ahead and play that. We will ditch. Um, this one here uh actually you you should attack first but uh we'll, we'll be okay um so that'll swing in check another one and now we will digivolve for free into another imperial german so the win rate there will now reduce it down by four it is normally a four evo cost making it a zero evo cost so we'll keep it on our turn and then we will get to play once again uh our XVMon and our uh, Stingmons here. Uh, drawing for Evo. Again, I probably lost count of all the, <laughs> the draws I've missed at this point. But like I said, it's okay. Um, it's mainly just important to get out um, enough. And at this point, you need one more Jogress. It can either be another Pyildramon or any of your Dino Beamons. It doesn't matter. As long as you have another level 5 to Jogress into, you'll be okay. And then also make sure you're doing your Stingmon draws. I literally have no idea why that keeps glitching so bad. Uh, so we'll go ahead and swing again. Security check. We have jamming. We're okay. Uh, his effect will unsuspend and you can swing again for a security check. Uh, again, make sure you're getting all your draws off of Stingmons and everything like that. Um, so then you can win off the Pyodramon. In a normal deck, boom, that's all you need. Uh, if you want to run the Blitz Omnimon, you can do that and throw it down on top of the uh, Imperial Dramon there. So unsuspend Blitz for game. Uh, or so if they were covered, say they were at six security, you could go in uh, Pyodramon to clear that sixth one. And then the seventh swing can be Omnimon. Uh, if you have it, uh, you could also do a blue memory boost and go into a Lobomon on top of the Davis. Uh, swing again before the Omnimon. You know, that's eight checks in total. So seven security checks and then Omnimon for game for the eighth. Uh, wow. Like, literally, we did all that in one turn. We went through all those cards. Half the deck. Like, you want to talk about a combo deck? Like, this is a combo deck. Between the free Evos on the, the level 5s with the Jogress uh, and the DNA Digivolved, and then the uh, the free Evos into the Imperials, I think is what really sells it. Between the win rates and uh, the um, hidden potentials, like, that really is what sells it. I mean, absolutely busted combos. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to put it in the comment section below. And like I said, this is very much a, you need some really good draws. I, the only like flex spots in the, the whole combo is the, the Pyeldramon here with that Jogress. Um, if you drew into the Dino Beamon, you could still win, but you would require the Omnimon. Um, I, what I like about the, the drawing into the Pyodramon though is this is assuming you you are running a normal deck right like I the only uh addition that I don't normally run would be the the win rate in my normal normal decks I don't normally run a win rate uh 60 percent I don't think it's quite that needed um but that that's the, the only extra stipulation I just wanted to show you that it's possible to do it in two turns um if you're in like a later game you don't really need a win rate I think in normal decks you probably won't run the win rate um in a normal deck you also won't run the Omnimon so like these are two extra cards that aren't normally in an Imperial deck um but just to show off that it's possible to do this all in one turn I wanted to go ahead and, and throw those in there but this deck is so fast and so powerful that like a lot of the stuff we were doing here, I mean, with the hidden potential, that's a normal card that we run. Like going into that first uh, set where we, we got into the second uh, Pyodramon here, like that's a normal play, okay? So you go swing with XVMon uh, and then Jogress into the first Pyodramon, uh, swinging again, that's two checks, uh, hidden potential into an Imperial, go into uh, a second Pyodramon and swing two more times for a total of four checks. That I mean that's not unheard of. Like that's a pretty standard turn. Four checks on turn two very easily. I mean that's that's something to fear. Okay, that's something to fear. I think this deck is incredibly explosive, uh, and I definitely expect to see a lot of it, and uh, probably should start taking against it. 